when you look at this, this might look like some kind of bacteria or a cosmic simulation. But this is just a very simple um, particle simulation that simulates repellence and attraction between particles. And even though it's so simple, we can still see interesting patterns, interesting behaviors that may remind us of life. I think this is a very interesting thing to look at. So let us together look at the birth of this universe and just observe its different uh, creatures and their behaviors and the different shapes that we'll uh, see, you know, and just the way they interact with the world. This is where we start. A random distribution of particles with different colors. The rules are very simple. Some particles attract each other. Others repel each other. Right now, there's nothing special going on. It might even remind you of the night sky. But let's see what happens. If we let the particles do their thing. Pretty quickly, we can notice yellow particles attracting each other. Same thing for the blue particles. You can even see some specks of red. Very quickly, these colors start merging. And they almost instantly start using other colors as basically fuel. We can see a simple form of moving creature here. Suddenly there are lots of them. You can see them gathering other particles to help them move along. Even now we have different shapes. Sometimes they collide with each other and can make new shapes. They evolve into different shapes that help them move along better. And they collide once again. And they use the speed of that collision to keep going forward. Next to the complex glider with the green tip, we also see some more simpler forms of gliders emerge. We see this one a yellow head and a green tail. It is not as complex as um, the other glider that we saw. These ones simply used green, the green particles as their fuel. And the only other body part they have is their yellow head. But these other, other gliders we see some pretty complex um, biology. You see that the green shield helps them um, repel the yellow heads. It helps them not get destroyed, not get impacted. Look at this. We just saw a collision. As a result, that glider just expelled some green particles. And these green particles are now at a place that they wouldn't usually be in. And this will help them uh, merge together with other particles, forming um, different shapes, maybe new creatures. Who knows? We can see the orange and the purple um, merging together there.
the first time we are seeing something like this in our universe. A glider expelling green and purple particles, leaving them behind to make a new glider. This is a form of giving birth, which is pretty interesting to think about. Here we have the same type of glider cruising along our simulation. <laughs> this glider has six different body parts. At the bottom, which is the part that it moves forward with, we see a purple shield. In this specific specimen, the shield is not very big, which means that it is more vulnerable to getting disturbed by other gliders or other kinds of creatures that well, let live here. Then we have the second layer, a layer of green particles. The green particles seem to be the source of speed for most creatures in here. Um, which leads me to think that this is probably the thing that gets repelled by the most particles. Then the third layer is some kind of red body. I don't know how to explain its function. And then we have a more circular blue part, and then we have two very interesting particles, one orange and one purple particle, serving as a kind of tail. Maybe the purple particle is just another shield, but just very underdeveloped. You see just one particle in there. So let's observe it and see what it does. The cycle of life simply goes on. New matter is being spread into different areas, contaminating different areas, producing new kinds of creatures, or just staying there for other creatures to be consumed. This method of reproduction has seemed to become the new normal for these gliders, who now seem to be moving in what I would call fish-like movements. In this almost homogeneous landscape, we see something special cruising by. It is a type of glider, the only one of its kind. A lonely creature moves forward. It doesn't need anybody. This is the only thing it can do, move forward, repelling yellow particles. There are other creatures looking similar to this one, but they are killed. And what might seem like an attempt to form a yellow shield is simply a repulsion. And as it can sometimes happen, it gets dangerously close to another glider, and it gets killed. Its remnants formed one new glider of the yellow variant. And the rest of its lifeless body simply combines into an interesting shape. And it does not move. It is dead. This is the end. Forever. On the other side, we can see a glider consuming what is left of its head. We will now be a witness to a new step 
that we haven't seen before. Two unstable gliders just collided into each other, creating an impressive explosion. And now we have these new circles, you see that? I would always I would almost compare that to like a supernova, but maybe that's too far fetched. But that's very interesting to see. Right now these these red and blue balls that just got created, they're just hanging out there, nothing's happening to them. But what happens if another glider crashes into these We just watched one glider collide with these balls. And when he died, three new gliders came out of it. We just watched these circles get fertilized. And that's just crazy. That's beautiful, isn't it? So now these these gliders, they aren't just Man, they aren't just turning around making new versions of themselves by themselves, but now they need a partner. They need... I mean, they need unfertilized glider eggs, if that's what you can call them. Isn't that crazy? And this glider had to sacrifice himself in order to make these three new gliders out of... Yeah, it's... I really like that. Life always goes on. <laughs>